minute since I've been on here. I just needed a much needed break to recharge my batteries because you know, when you have just a life and work and it can be a bit much, but I am here and I'm so happy to be hanging out with you guys today. And we are gonna have a fun time together because we're gonna be crafting today and I'm so excited about today's crafts. I am going to be making a little candle holder um, that can also be turned into a lantern if you wish. And also we're gonna be making a floral picture frame and I will insert snippets that way you can see the inspo that I'm going for. So you know those nights where you can't sleep and you're just scrolling through Pinterest, pinning things away, recipes, home projects, etc. This is where I found the inspiration to do our two little craft DIY projects. So the first one we're gonna do is a floral decor. And this little DIY um, requires dried floral, but I didn't have any. And if you guys know, I am the queen of using what you have at home. You know, I know at times we need to go out and buy certain um, supplies to do things, but if it requires dried floral and I don't have it, I'm gonna use the floral that I have at home. I bought a couple of florals um, about a month or so ago on some other projects and I had some left over. So that's what I'm gonna to use today. And this is the inspo for this little DIY project, which is right here. And it's so pretty and I'm gonna hang this little floral picture frame in my office, you know, because I am still soaking up the last little bit of spring because summer's around the corner and this can easily transition into summer and I can have it up until fall gets here. But is it me or do you guys think that the year is going by so fast? I was just talking to my husband last night and I was telling him like, where has the year gone? Like we're almost into June and I just need time to slow down. But it's a beautiful day today. It's sunny and we got a nice little treat. The high is 70, 70 degrees today because the past week or so it's been rainy, muggy, pretty warm and toasty and Today it is nice and cool and breezy and I originally was gonna do this project in the home and I said, no, we're gonna do it outside and enjoy this beautiful weather and it's sunny and I'm just soaking it, it all in. So I am gonna give you a quick overview of the supplies that we're gonna use today. So the first little DIY craft project is going to be a floral picture frame and then the second one is going to be a candle holder but i ordered pressed flowers and then here is the inspo for this project which is here and i have never used pressed flowers i have never used mod podge and i will be using those supplies today to create this beautiful beautiful little candle holder or you can turn it into a lantern so um that is what we're going to be working with today um, and creating today. So let's go over our supplies because I cannot wait to start making, start crafting. So um, let's see what we're going to be working with today. So here is what we're working with. And we have very, very little supplies, which I like because it doesn't get overwhelming. But we have these pretty little faux flowers. And these flowers are from previous projects i just had some extra um, lying around the home and they literally came from dollar tree and michael's and then i ordered these little mason jars on amazon so we'll be making our little candle holders with that we're gonna use some twine we have some mod podge i've never used mod podge so this should be interesting but when i was looking at how to glue these beautiful pressed flowers on the mason jars, it recommended to uh, recommended for us for me to use Mod Podge, and then we just need a white picture frame. And when you do get this, make sure that you have this border in here because what we're going to do is cut the flowers out and insert them behind this border, this trim in here, and then the glass that goes over it, remove it and stick it inside the picture frame and then and that's it guys seriously it's it's too easy easy 
little projects, little craft DIY projects, but they are so pretty. And um, the end and the end result is going to be really, really nice. So I can't wait. So we're going to start off with our floral picture frame, and I'm going to insert a picture now. That way, you guys get the visual um, of what I'm trying to create. And again. It requires dried floral, I didn't have any. So I'm just gonna use what I have and um, yeah, and just make do with what you have. Don't go crazy buying so many supplies, but this is what I'm gonna be working with today. And of course I had a little bit of ice homemade coffee. So let's get started on our first one. decor and it literally tell me if I'm not wrong it looks like a 3d garden popping out of a picture frame so let me show you the end result and here we go guys and you can make this however you want with whatever flowers you like if you use a dry floral they won't be so bulky but it literally looks like a little garden sticking out of a picture frame i absolutely love it and i'm gonna hang this in my office is that not cute let me see if you guys can see it i love it and i like just the clean chic look of it all so that's why i got a um white picture frame but you guys can get whatever picture frame you like if this is something that you will like to do and this is something you can do with like your kids it's just so fun but it it looks just like a little garden hang it's going to be hung on the wall so this is my little um craft number one little diy crafting project so cute anything that is so pretty dainty uh flowers little bursts and pops of color i love so now we're going to start on project number two so now we're going to start our second little project and here are the dried florals that I'm going to be using. They're so pretty and so vibrant, the colors. And guys, I'm really loving this. This is so stinking cute. <laughs> but okay, so now what I'm going to do, I have never used Mod Podge, so that's how we're going to get these guys here to stick on the mason jar. So all I'm gonna do is take some of that Mod Podge and um, br brush it onto the mason jar. And then the pressed flowers came with these little tweezer like things. And then we're just gonna pick them and lightly press them on here. And then again, I'm gonna insert a inspo picture, which is right here. And that is what we're going to create. And I'm so excited because if these turn out well and really, really pretty, I'm gonna give two of them to my son's girlfriend and then I'm gonna make me another two probably at a later time and have them in my home so they look nice and pretty. And who knows, I might do them tomorrow, but you see the inspo, this is what I'm going for because I think it just looks so pretty for spring. Um, you can have them on your tabletop. 
You can have them outside on the outdoor patio. They're just so stinking cute. And nothing makes me more happy than flowers. And by the way, you can't see them now, but we have so many butterflies just enjoying the most beautiful weather out here. But it is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful day. All right, enough chit chat, guys. Let me go ahead and start this little project. our second project and they turned out so stinking cute look how adorable it just it's so simple but so cute now I will say I have never dealt with pressed flowers and they're so incredibly delicate so if you don't have any tweezers definitely go get some because the little kit that I ordered came with these little tweezers because these you definitely need them the pressed flowers tend to break a lot, so just be very, very careful. But look how gorgeous that is. And also, when I looked at this little DIY craft situation on Pinterest, there were people that hot glued like a little hook here. So you can use them like as little lanterns. I didn't do that, but in case that's what you want, you're more than welcome to do that. And I think they would be so cute. You can have, you can have these outside in the centerpiece, anywhere in the home. This just screams spring and summer to me and I just love it. So I am going to go hang my little garden on the wall, light these little candles and I'm going to enjoy them. But Thank you for hanging out with me. I have missed you guys so much. And again, 
I will be doing a lot more crafts and DIY on my channel. I love them. I find them so therapeutic and anything that I can add a little bit of pop of color in my home that I can make myself, it just brings me so much happiness. So <laughs> I uh, definitely will be doing a lot more of this. So thank you so much for hanging out with me. I can't wait to see you next week because I have a nice little fun video for you guys. And I'm about to go hang everything and bring everything inside and can't wait to see you on the next one, guys. Bye.